I found wrestling, pro wrestling, and it was like an escape. And I was wondering if that's how you found it as well. Was it something that you would see on TV and you could kind of escape that reality for a second? Yeah. Was that like a go-to for you? Is that how you? Oh yeah, without, without a shadow of a doubt. First wrestling match I ever saw was Hogan and Andre. Mm -hmm. WrestleMania three on a VHS tape, folks. <laughs> and my mother saw how that kept me quiet because I was a hyper kid. <laughs> You know what I mean? And my poor, my poor beautiful Puerto Rican mother must have been like pulling her hair out. Because all I would do was run around the house like a madman, breaking He-Man toys and breaking G.I. Joe toys and then crying about it. But anyway, <laughs> she found that wrestling would calm me down. And I would actually sit down for the whole three hours, four hours. Well, back then, it was like a five-hour pay-per-view where they had like a little intermission in the, in the middle. You know, that's the only thing that kept me quiet. And then as the years gone on, pro wrestling was the only thing that was consistent in my life. Mm. It was always NWA, WCW was on Saturdays and Sundays. Superstars and Wrestling Challenge, Saturday and Sunday. Then when Raw hit, there's your Monday night programming. When Nitro came, there's your Monday night. It was always consistent. Even ECW, when Heyman, I guess, decided to pay the MSG offices to show his ECW will pop up on late Saturday nights. It was the yeah. only thing that was consistent in my life. Like you said, it was an escape. I was by myself and I was in that world whenever that was on. I was totally into it. Nothing was bothering me. No, whatever ex-girlfriend or this kid said something to me in, in, the, in the park that night in Van Cortland or this kid tried to hit me with a baseball bat a couple months ago. I can't wait to see him, you know. <laughs> All that was gone because I was stuck on pro wrestling. Mm.